It's homecoming week. It's a chance for Bobcats everywhere to come back home to Athens and Ohio University. And when they come back, they'll see a pretty good football team. The marquee event of any homecoming week is the game. And this week, it's 6-0 and 2-0 Ohio and 1-5 and 0-2 and oh and Akron. Hi everybody, I'm Russ Eisenstein, the voice of the Ohio Bobcats. Welcome to Bobcat TV's game week preview of week number seven for Ohio football. I've had the chance to go all over the country, see college campuses everywhere. There is no more quintessentially collegiate campus than Ohio University. Some would say it's perfect. Bobcats certainly say it's perfect. And it's fitting now on homecoming that they get to come back to see a perfect team. Ohio is trying to stay undefeated through seven weeks. There's a lot of buzz around this program. We talked about it from the start of the year. The Sports Illustrated article came out this week. It certainly put the program in a great light. A lot of awesome things are happening. Hopefully you were able to pick up your copy. And Ohio is on the doorstep of being ranked for the first time since 1968. Akron comes in with a new era in their program. It's meeting number 29, all time between the two schools. Let's take a look at this matchup, the Bobcats and the Zips. Abowden will lead Akron in Athens on Saturday. That last name is synonymous with college football. Bobby Bowden was a legendary head coach at Florida State. Tommy Bowden coached at Clemson. Terry Bowden has been a lot of places, including Auburn. He's been a broadcaster, too. He's in his first season at Akron. And the Zips' one win is over Morgan State. They lost to Central Florida, Florida International, Tennessee, Miami, and Bowling Green. The loss to FIU was by three, and they were tied at halftime in Knoxville. Last week, the Zips were up 10-zip at the half on BG, but lost 24-10. Just six quarterbacks throw for more yards per game than Akron's QB does. Dalton Williams is a Stephen F. Austin transfer in first-year Zip. He throws for 317 yards per contest, has 15 touchdowns and seven interceptions. He leads the Mac in attempts, completions, yards, and touchdowns. Marquel Suell leads a group of 18 players to catch a pass this year. He's close to 500 yards receiving and has four touchdowns. Running back Jawan Chisholm has had back-to-back 100-yard -back games and has three on the year. Akron's D is ninth in the league. Linebacker Kurt Magnum leads the Zips with 46 tackles. Three and a half were for loss, and he has a sack. D lineman J.D. Griggs has four and a half sacks and eight stops for loss. The Zips average 463 yards per game. That's second best in the league. They give up 472. Ohio quarterback Tyler Tettleton is one touchdown pass shy of the school record. He's tied with Boo Jackson with 38. Running back Bo Blankenship is 158 yards away from 1,000 on the year. He'd be the eighth Bombcat to reach that mark. A win over the Zips would make Ohio 7-0 for the seventh time in school history, and it would be the fifth straight win over the Zips. So we've got you set for the matchup. For those coming back that haven't been back in a while, welcome back home. And for those that we see all the time, it will be good to see you again at Peden Stadium. Our coverage starts at 1 o'clock for the kick at 2. It's the Bobcats and the Akron Zips. Happy homecoming, everybody. For Chris Sabo, I'm Russ Eisenstein. This is Bobcat TV.